Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today we are going to be taking a look at a new map for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 called Frequency. Now, today at E3, Treyarch was showcasing this map, and they were also talking a bit about Blackout and some other really cool stuff as well. So if you guys want to go see that, there's going to be a link for it down below for you guys. But uh, on the map, they are playing some Hardpoint, and the guy in the gameplay, he's mainly using two guns, and they are the VAPR XKG, which is an AR, and then the MX-9, which is an SMG. And I've heard a lot of players that have already played this game say that the MX-9 is the best gun in the game so far because of its fast fire rate and it does do a pretty decent amount of damage. And I think on a map like Frequency, the MX-9 is going to really dominate because Frequency is a pretty tight map. Uh, the hard points are really tiny as well. And I think on an objective game mode like Hardpoint is going to be very fast paced, very chaotic, and there will be a ton of deaths. The map is based in the Houdan province in France. and uh, also on some parts of the map I noticed that you have to be very careful navigating through them because kind of like the map summit there are some areas where you can fall off to your death so do keep that in mind when you do play this map and you also might notice that the stem shot is a tiny tiny bit slower it's not a whole lot slower but I did compare it to the gameplay that was showed during the reveal and it is somewhat noticeable and I think Treyarch will be collecting data at E3 as well and they will continue on making adjustments with the stem shot and some other core features in the game mechanics. I'm really not that big of a fan of the heads up display either. I don't know. I, I just really don't like it. It doesn't really seem that clean to me. Hopefully they do fix that up when the game does come out. I don't think there will be a ton of major core changes to the game though. Like a lot of people are upset about the health bars over players and then just the overall mechanics of the syringes. That stuff is not going away guys. It's way too late for them to make any adjustments to that. But as for the contents regarding the Black Ops Pass, now now, maybe Treyarch and Activision will realize that a lot of fans are very unhappy with less maps and of course they are not free. Maybe they will give out some free guns to players with the Black Ops Pass and some other exclusive content such as character skins for the Blackout mode. You know, something like that to kind of please the fans. Just Treyarch, they need to do something because a lot of fans right now are very upset and I too am one of them. I mean, I guess we should not have really gotten our hopes up, but I mean, j just looking at how well Overwatch and Fortnite and Rainbow Six Siege are doing because those games offer free content to players. I really did hope that Treyarch would allow the same thing to happen for Black Ops 4. I still kind of am upset about that, but they could still give out free maps to everyone, kind of like how Shipment 1944 was free for World War 2 and also Groston House. I think that would really please a lot of fans. And I don't know, there still is a lot of time from now until the release, and hopefully the devs are still listening to feedback and that kind of stuff. I still really am looking forward to Black Ops 4, though. The game does look pretty solid if you ask me, but what's going to either make or break the game this year is how much support Treyarch adds into the game. We still don't know anything about supply jobs, how that's going to work out either. I kind of assume it's going to be somewhat similar to Infinite Warfare and World War II. I don't think guns are going to be locked behind supply jobs because uh, hopefully Activision learned the lesson from that. Uh, but yeah, guys, keep your heads up. I still have some faith in this game and the developers. Tell me how you guys feel about this map in the comment section down below. Also, drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy, and thanks for watching till next time i'll see you later